Hi everyone, this is Armand Natikian from Amber Professional Development. I'm delighted to be connecting with you again virtually and I hope you're all well. I really enjoyed working with you in our first session on Consulting for Growth and the purpose of this video is to revisit some of the topics that we covered in that first session and also to prepare you for your second session on the 22nd of July. I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, so let's recap the key topics that we covered in the first session of Consulting for Growth. As you will recall, we discussed that the term trusted advisor has two elements to it. The first is establishing trust and the second is providing advice. In our first session, we focused on establishing trust. In our second session on the 22nd of July, we'll focus on how to provide advice in the most powerful and impactful way. We started by looking at the journey to becoming a trusted advisor as having six critical steps. Top performing trusted advisors excel at each one of these steps. And the first three of them, the ability to connect, inquire and listen, are the foundations of establishing trust. The next three steps, having the confidence to provoke thinking, to create proposals that meet the underlying needs of the client, and gaining commitment from senior executives are what it takes to provide meaningful and powerful advice. In our first session, we focused on the first step, making a connection. And we looked at two specific tools that allow you to do that with impact. The first step to making a connection is to be well prepared. And the SOGI model allows you to take the disruptive changes that have taken place in the market and filter them down from the sector, down to the organization you're meeting, down to the group and the impact that it's having on the specific individual stakeholder with whom you're speaking. Situation complication question is a tried and tested structure to set context. Expressed well, a good SCQ creates engagement with your audience. And it's created from the research you've done through your SOGI framework. The situation sets the scene and should be familiar to your audience. The complication is the trigger that creates a problem or opportunity that's sizable enough that warrants your audience's attention. And also, it leads logically to the overriding question that's in the mind of your client. We had the opportunity in the first session to generate a few SCQs in the breakout exercises. I now invite you to revisit those or create new ones in preparation for the second session. The action plan for creating a powerful SCQ starts with the client. Think about your stakeholders and what's important for them so that you're able to articulate a situation that resonates with them. It's neither too obvious nor too unfamiliar. And if you said it correctly, you should get that initial green light for you to proceed. The complication should make your audience ponder and reflect. By providing a scale of the problem or opportunity, it also allows you to gauge how critical the complication is for them. And also, it then can lead you to the overriding question, the objective for both the meeting and what's at the front of your client's mind. The question is often set in the form of a cause or an effect. So for example, if the situation is that the company has been making healthy profits over the last couple of years, and if the complication is that in the last 12 months, for example, the profits have started slowing down, the question could be either, why has this happened? Or it could be, what should the client do about it? Deciding which is the important question will depend very much on where the client's level of knowledge is. Do they know the causes of the decline? If so, we need to look at the effect. But if they're not aware of that, then it's important to diagnose what has caused the decline. 
Getting that question right should lead you to that energetic nod as a signal that the client is engaged and they want to have that discussion with you. So in preparation for our meeting on the 22nd of July, please go back to the SEQs and refine them, revisit them, and be prepared to share them with us so that we can offer some coaching and guidance in the first part of the session so that you're better armed to make more powerful connections and engagement with your audiences at your next meeting. I look forward to seeing you soon.